Hi there. Hi there, and welcome to a quick video about PBR materials. So a PBR material is a collection of texture maps, starting with a diffuse map. So the diffuse map is the standard set of colours for the texture. It is the actual texture that you want to place down. This is the displacement map. This will actually create three-dimensional geometry for the texture. This is a normal map. This will trick the computer into thinking there is three-dimensional image data. So you see this here, this is a uh, red, green and blue image and the red, green and blue values stand for different heights and depths. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the diffuse map, the displacement map, the normal map, the roughness map and the specular map and we're going to bring those into Blender. So here I have just a simple plane that I have scaled four times. And I'm going to go into edit mode and make sure that the main face is selected. Go to UV and unwrap. What we're going to do now is we're going to drag out another view window and we're going to head to Shader Editor. Now we're going to create a quick new material and we're just going to call this Ground. So here we have the principal BSDF node connected to the material output and that relates to this here. And I'm just going to turn off viewport assistance here. So as you can see here we have base colour, we have metallic, specular, roughness, um, we have emission, we have normal map. So each one of these values um, directly corresponds to a particular texture map that we have. So if we click on Shift A and search and type in image texture, as if you were just adding a texture normally, and we're going to browse here to our texture maps. I will put a link to this particular texture for you to download in the description. So here we're going to choose the diffuse map. I'm just going to open that up and we're going to connect that up to base colour. Just give that a second. Oh, we're not in rendered mode. And excellent, we can now see the texture is on our plane. And this is a perfectly good texture, you know, it's a nice high quality texture. Uh, but as you can see, the way that the light is reflecting, there is absolutely no three dimensionality to this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go up to UV editor, sorry, and we're going to go back into edit mode. So we make sure we've got that face selected again, and we're going to go into UV image editor. So if we press A here we select the main square and we can scale this up and this will change the size of the texture. So if we want a really big brick texture we can make the UV map really small or if we want really small bricks. And obviously the further you pull this back the more tiled it will look. So we're going to go for about here. That's a nice kind of sized ground plane. Awesome. And we're going to go back to the shader editor. We are now going to shift D on that initial texture node and we're going to open it up and we are now going to use the Medieval Blocks 03 Specular 2K JPEG and we're going to connect that to the specular setting. So now you can see that strange way that the light was refracting. If we just disconnect that there, you can see down in this bottom corner here the way that the light is shining off of it. It's, it's quite a shiny flat picture. So if we connect this specular map up here, it will obviously change that and make it just a little bit nicer and now it will be picking out particular areas for the specularity to be applied so we're going to shift duplicate that once more now we're going to open up the roughness now this does the same thing as the specular except for the roughness value now obviously this is not a particularly shiny brick but as you can see if we start to move around now you can see the light interacting with the texture in a slightly different way and it's already starting to look a lot nicer if we zoom out it's already starting to look a lot more like a realistic texture so we're going to shift D again on that image texture node and we are going to open up this time the normal map and this is where things start to get really interesting so we're going to hook that up to normal now as you can see it's not really done anything to the particular texture it's not made any massive difference that's because we need a normal map node and what we're going to do is we're just going to shift A and search and we're going to type in normal map now it's very important here we do not want a normal node, node we want a normal map node goodness that's quite a tongue twister so now we have a little bit of three dimensionality to the texture so I'm just going to disconnect that once more and you can see the difference that it makes I mean it's a pretty big difference but it's not massive so how about we just change this value here from one to two and there we go now we have a very very detailed texture and if we zoom out it's looking much much nicer now the interesting thing about physically based texturing or PBRs if we right click and select our light source and then just remove our viewports again and move this around you can see as I move the light the texture and the three dimensionality to the texture actually starts to affect or the light sorry actually starts to affect the values that the textures provide so it's a way of tricking the computer into adding extra detail to your texture maps which is quite nice now there is one more thing we can do to this 
and that is if we go into edit mode, press W to subdivide, open up the little menu here and hit 20. That's going to subdivide quite a lot. And then we're going to hit W, oh, no. we hit W again, and we're just going to bring it up to 7. So obviously now we've created a lot more polygons on this map, but what it allows us to do is go into the modifier setting and add this modifier here called a displacement modifier. Now this requires a texture map. This will not be done in the shader editor, this will be done in the right hand uh, settings menu here. So we're going to click new texture, and we're going to scroll down to the bottom here to the texture menu, and we're going to open up, and we're just going to go back to our textures located, and we're going to find the displacement map. Now we're going to just go out of edit mode here, and as you can see, it's already made an amazingly weird difference to the texture map because what it's currently doing is it's taking that raw displacement information and it's just jamming it up on the z-axis. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it from local here in texture coordinates to UV map. Oh, that's already looking better. We're just going to adjust the middle ground of the plane here so that it's roughly in the center again, which is where we had the plane before. And now we're going to just take down the strength value probably to 0.13. And now you can see that it has actually physically changed the geometry of the mesh. So if we go into edit mode here, it is flat. If we pull ourselves back out of edit mode, it has actually changed the mesh. So if we apply the displace modifier and go back into tab edit mode and turn on these, you can actually now see that the mesh has been deformed by the displace modifier. And that is how you get a really nice PBR texture in Blender 2.8. Um, these textures were acquired on texturehaven.com. I will be linking to that website in the description. Hope this helps. Thank you.